digital romance TV. Well, no, we're. What? what, what? No, we're no, doing hold the, on. This isn't. No, no, we're just, doing, I just need to. I just no, need, but there's a bird and it's angry the, and I need to. Hi, how are you? It's Michael Fiore from Digital Romance TV along with Nora. And um, now we're going to talk about uh, a really weird question. How to tell if he's faking it. Yeah, if he's faking like being, being interested faking. or if he's being like. What? Faking what? Well, if he's faking an orgasm, it usually means you end up a spit on your back. But, um, <laughs> sorry, beyond that, I think what they mean, I think what they mean, and these questions come in a little vague sometimes, how do you know if he's faking being into you? Yeah. And being in love with you? How do you know? How do you know? Well, I've written, uh, we have a video about this, of course, which is called Seven Ways to Know If He Loves You or Not, sure. which we'll reference. It's, uh, uh, we'll put the link in here somewhere, in some way. It's up for our program called The Secret Survey, but it also gives you seven explicit, specific questions you can ask any man, or actually ask yourself about any man, to see if he's actually into you or not. But the number one thing is not, is he always your number one priority? Because so many women fall into that trap. They always want to be a guy's number one priority right. all the time. And that is unrealistic. As I've had to say many, many, many times. Nobody wants a stalker. Nobody wants a stalker. If you actually had, um, I use Edward from the, um, the vampire movies as an example. If you actually had that guy as a boyfriend, you would have a restraining order within about a week or so because he would freak you the heck out. Or Mr. Gray. Yeah, and yeah, that Christian guy as well. Christian, Christian Gray. Gray with all of his scarves. Um, but usually, I always say, you don't want to be a man's number one priority all the time, but you want to be in his top three, sure. and you want to get to be number one sometimes. And if he's sure. never making you number one, that's a pretty good indicator that he's not really that into you, and that he's not really into you, into the relationship. Right, and it's probably because of you specifically. Like, if it was somebody else, he probably would have the time. Which is not an insult to you. It's just that you're it's just not that the one. You're not the connection. You're not that person for yeah. him. The other one be with these on his phone all the time, if he's basically ignoring you all the time. Um, if you find that you're with a guy who, when you're with him, he does not engage in any way, but then when he sees other people, he does engage, mm -hmm. that's a bad sign. Or even if he's engaging at the same level with everybody. Yeah, that is that well. That is also a... Where you're not getting anything you're special. You're not anything special. Now, the deeper you are in a relationship, you can't, it is easy to fall into those traps, especially if you see each other, like if you work together or something like that, where you're seeing each other all day. It's like, how's your day? You know how my day was. And there's a certain level of boredom that goes along with that that can cause real problems. But generally speaking, if he's just always not interested in you, if he's not asking questions about you sure. at all, if he's not interested in what's going on in your life, these are all really bad signs. And he's faking it. Now, why is he faking it? I don't know. Are you rich? What's going on? But that's it. What is else he, you got? That's it. Yeah. Okay, well, that's it, basically. If he just is disengaged all the time, it's a pretty good sign that's that he's faking question, it. Too. Unless he's a psychopath, and then he'll be really engaged, but you won't know. Because those guys are hard. You can't tell they're lying. Okay, um, if you have a, uh, a follow-up question or more you want to put, go down here. Go down here. To also, maybe you know better about how he fakes it in bed. How he fakes it in bed. Maybe spits, that was the question? He spits on your back. Um, yes. <laughs> we're just going to go. We're just done. Bye. If you want to understand men better than they understand themselves, go to digitalromance.tv forward slash secret to watch a special presentation where I explain the weird psychology of men and what men need to truly commit to a woman.